Hey there guys, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be part two in the capturing a bee swarm or a bee colony uh, video series. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to have a part two, but uh, so far I am. So when I was coming home uh, from work today, I stopped at the end of my road and I saw a ton of bees uh, flying about uh, one of the uh, bait boxes that I put out. Uh, and then I walked uh, to the back side of my property where I put the other one and there was a huge mass of bees on the bottom of it. Um, <laughs> so I promptly uh, went inside and layered up with some clothes um, and I found an old laundry basket, uh, like a hamper liner that's, you know, kind of mesh. Uh, I threw that on, I know, <laughs> not professional equipment. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can borrow some from some people I know uh, when I actually work with these a little bit better. But so far, uh, both boxes have bees in them. Uh, so I've got uh, a couple clips uh, that I'll show you of each box. Um, and actually both boxes at different points of the day had those, uh, the big masses of swarms like hanging off the box and crawling in and out. Uh, so anyway, I'm not sure if they're actually gonna take, um, but hopefully they're uh, building <laughs> combs in the boxes right now and uh, I'll be able to eventually move them to my top bar hive and uh, you know, after a, a bit more research, uh, actually install them. So uh, this is basically just an update on that. Oh, uh, one other thing, I actually decided to move my top bar beehive um, to some private land about a half a mile uh, from my house. Uh, just wanted to get a little bit further there uh, because most of the bees that we have in our area, from what I understand, are Africanized. And not that that's necessarily a problem, it's just, you know, they, I guess, can be a little bit more aggressive, but, uh, you know, <laughs> honey's all the same. So, anyway, let me uh, take you, uh, or let me cut to some clips of those bees, uh, and I'll, sh you know, let you see kind of how they're uh, hitting the boxes, and, you know, hopefully there will be a part three uh, when I'm actually <laughs> transferring these to the top bar hive. But, anyway, the plan uh, thus far is to let these boxes or these uh, bees establish hopefully they've got queens with them um, build comb for a little bit and then uh, i'll take these boxes down uh, on an evening or really early in the morning i'll probably wrap them up in something and i'll take them to my top bar beehive and i'll probably set them next to it and uh i don't know maybe i'll <laughs> leave them in it or uh, you know maybe i'll i'll transfer the bars i'm not sure uh but anyway that's just kind of what i'm thinking right now so Hold on one second and I'll show you some clips of uh, so far the, the marginal success that we're having.